Hooked up. Let me talk about something else before somebody comes out. There's a thing called a double haul. A double haul is where you pull down on the back cast and pull down on the forward cast. And people think that makes the line go faster. It does a little of that. The main thing is, uh, somebody hold that line again, wrap it around your hand. Got it? If I make a cast and I just pull on the rod, it bent that much. See it? But at the same time that I was making this, if I would pull on a rod, this is here. But if I'd pull on it at the same time, the same thing, I've done that much more load to my rod. So the main purpose, okay, the main purpose of double haul is to bend the rod and store energy to let the rod do the job. So you see guys double hauling and they're tearing their underwear and look like a monkey hauling cabbage, but they ain't getting nowhere because you got to do certain things. The first thing, and even if you don't double haul, this might happen to you. You wonder how this line got hooked up behind this rod handle like this. If you go back and your hand is this far from the reel, when you come forward here, what you're doing on slow motion, this is dropping down, do you see it? And what that will do is that will hook over the reel. So if you don't haul, don't let your hands get like this, follow the reel. Now there's no slack, it can move the rod. If you haul, there's where you want to be on the end of the back cast. You want that hand up there. Here, you're pushing all this line before you're actually starting to move the fly line. So if you haul, and a good way to practice is on the ground like this. Don't get up in here because you can get tight. Just keep it right in front of the reel. Now you need no effort to do that. See it? The second thing is that somebody wants to make a long cast. What they will do is they'll make a nice false cast. They make another nice false cast. Now they're going to put this thing in the next zip code and they ruin everything in the process. You just destroyed your own loop. I'm going to keep this low so you can see the Can you all see the line pretty good? OK, I'm going to make this identical cast three times. That's the cast I'm going to make. I'm not going to change anything with this hand. I'm just going to make the same cast with the rod hand. This is a slow haul. This is a faster haul. And this is a really fast haul. Don't ever try to do anything extra with the rod hand because that destroys the loop. If this is quite a bit of line to pick up, I don't think I'll hit him. There's about 70 feet of line. If you try to do it this way, that's where it's going to end up. But if you make a nice, long, smooth stroke, stopping up, but at the same time, Haul fast, that's how much line's coming. And you did not destroy your loop. This didn't change. If you want to learn to double haul, and if you know how to double haul, I'd suggest practicing with a half a rod. You have to hold the rod up here because you don't want it down here. Put your finger here. You don't normally do that. But for learning to haul, what happens is that this shortens everything, and you can make mistakes. And they'll, if you're doing it right, you can throw a lot of line this way. No problem at all. But what will happen when you're hauling, if you make any kind of mistakes with a half rod, I pushed up. It didn't work. <laughs> Instead of pulling down when it came forward, I pushed. Immediately, the cast fell apart. So this is a good practice tool for that. Um, let me have somebody else come out and cast. If you're only going from here to here, there is no other sport in the world where you only use your arm and your wrist. In every other sport you hit, whether you're throwing a frisbee or playing ping pong, use your body.